Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, we'll be looking at Microsoft Edge and I'm going to show you a quick trick that allows you to share URLs and websites using QR codes. Microsoft Edge has a hidden page with heaps of experimental features and one of these is share using a QR code. Now, in order for you to access this, we're going to have to open up our browser. Now, once on your browser, you're going to navigate to that top bar. And at the top, you're going to be typing edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. Now, you can remember that or you can scroll down to the description to find that URL. Once you click enter, you're going to end up in the experiments or flags page. Here, you're going to be looking for the QR code generator. So go ahead and search for a QR code and you will see enable sharing page via QR code. Let's go ahead and change this and let's enable this new function. Once it's enabled, we have to restart our browser and then we can start using it. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're going to click on restart. And we now have a brand new function within the Edge browser. Let's go ahead and test it out. We're going to open up the education page for Microsoft. So let's go to education.microsoft.com. And let's say that I want to quickly share this with a colleague or I want to put a QR code on a PowerPoint presentation. Well, I can now go to the top here. And when I hover over this address, you see there is a new icon. This icon allows me to create a QR code. And as soon as I click on that, I get that QR code for this specific page. Once this image is loaded, I can either change the URL down below or click on download to download that image. The image is downloaded as a PNG file, which allows me to quickly insert this in any slideshow I want to use. I could even email this out to staff or parents and they can quickly scan it on their mobile devices and then access the website that way. This is an incredibly useful feature. And now that you know where to look for this, you can start using this today. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you hit that like button down below. Follow the channel for even more updates. Now make sure you click on that suggested video at the top or the playlist down below for even more information about online and distance learning. I hope you found this helpful. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.